Good Thursday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look outside and see what's going on weather-wise. As you can see, we've got some isolated showers around the area for the most part, some more widespread activity out toward the mountains. A lot of this activity is light right now as rain from the remnants of beta starting to move through the area. We'll see some isolated showers this morning. We'll start to thin out a little bit as we go through the day and more widespread rain as we head into the overnight hours going into Friday. Uh, we'll keep you updated on that as well as what you can expect with the five-day forecast over the next few days and uh, just generally what else is going on around the county weather-wise. Let's take a look first of all at the model data and what it's showing us out there. Again, remember this is not a forecast. It gives us guidance on how to make our forecast. And as you can see, for the most part, the models are pretty spot on with what was going on at 7 a.m. this morning. So let's go ahead and just take a look hour by hour as we go through the day. This is now 8 a.m., 9, 10. You see rain becoming really spotty. 11. This is midday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m. You see some isolated shower activity out there. 6 and 7 p.m. So as you can see, the rain chances tend, or will go away a little bit as we move through the day and then pick back up as we get into the evening hours. I do think most of the rain is going to come through after 9 a.m. or excuse me, 9 p.m. tonight. I'll get it right here in just a moment uh, and then hang around for the overnight hours into Friday morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at the weather impacts and what we can expect. So we'll see cloudy skies for the morning hours. Again, some isolated showers could be embedded in there from time to time. Rain chances begin to increase into the afternoon and evening. Again, I think most of the rain will come through in the overnight hours and Friday. Um, I'd say after 9 o'clock tonight, you really start to see those rain chances pick up. As far as accumulations, between now and midnight Friday night, into Saturday morning, we could see anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches of rainfall possible. And you could see some higher uh, accumulations in some isolated areas. We'll just have to see where that heavy rain band sets up because there's certainly going to be one like there always is with any of these tropical systems as they make their way through. For the five day forecast, sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call at 704-857-5684 or visit them at www.sasloop.com. Mention to them that you see that they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off that first time service call. Today we'll see cloudy skies with some isolated showers as we make our way through the afternoon and evening. High of 71, low of 59. Got an 80% chance of showers. Again, I think that is going to really be coming after 9 p.m. tonight and as we make our way through the overnight. On Friday, rain continues with a high of 70, low of 63, 80% chance of rain on Friday. I think by the afternoon into the evening hours on Friday, we'll see that rain start to move out and we'll dry out a little bit for the weekend. Partly sunny skies, high of 77, low of 62 on Saturday. I do have a 20% chance of precipitation in there, as you can see. I think we could see a very isolated chance of a shower or a thunderstorm, uh, but that would be very early Saturday, uh, I'd say before 9 a.m. And then after that, like I said, we're dry for the weekend. We'll see partly sunny skies on Sunday as we hit 80 degrees, increasing cloudiness as we head through the afternoon and evening hours, a low of 64 Sunday night. On Monday, I do have a 30% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms Monday morning. As we head into the afternoon and evening, we start to dry out. We'll see a low of 56 under partly cloudy skies on Monday evening. Again, the census, it's your last chance is September 30th to complete this. I know I've said this a lot over the last couple of days, but it's very important to the community, uh, especially for you, wherever you live, because it's going to have an impact on your schools. It can have an impact on the uh, jobs that are in your area in terms of for first responders, for EMS for firefighters, for sheriff's deputies, for police officers. And uh, those are the kind of folks you need. It can have an impact on community projects such as uh, improving roadways or different things like that. It takes 10 minutes to complete, actually less than 10 minutes. I did mine pretty quickly. Uh, you can do it at www.my2020census.gov or calling 844-330-2020. Uh, and again, these 10 minutes, they can make 10 years of difference in your community. So be sure to get that done.
If you're looking for ways to check out the weather when I'm not posting anything or providing updates in between those times, if you've got some kind of on-demand stuff you're looking for, well, you can always reach out to me for sure. But you can also check us out on our website at www.rowancountyweather.com. On social media, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And for Facebook, we are getting very close to 17,000 uh, Facebook page likes and followers. So if you know someone who's looking for some local weather to follow, please tell them about RowanCountyWeather.com. Help us get to 17,000 on Facebook. And you can also check us out if you know someone who doesn't have the internet because they're older and they just don't utilize it. Uh, if they have cable, Spectrum, or Hotwire, they can check us out on WSRG TV in Salisbury. And we'll, of course, keep you updated with the weather there as well. But for now, we'll keep you updated as we move through the day and into the afternoon and evening hours as the rain chances increase and through the overnight and make you aware of anything that might be going on weather-wise. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.